I, uh, I first noticed I, I'm uh, losing my hearing, uh, I don't know, about six months to maybe one year after I was actually losing my hearing. But, uh, and that was when I was about 25 years old and I was, uh, I was living back in Romania at the time. I, di I didn't quite get what's happening, so I thought, you know, I'm, I thought, you know, when you get your, when you have to pop your ears and you feel like you just came out of a plane or you came down with the flu and you think, okay, this is going to go in a few days, so I'm going to be fine. But then uh, I noticed some sort of, I had to make my friends repeat things or maybe ask them to speak up a bit because of that. So I thought it's normal and because I'm a very social guy, I didn't take that as a, as a you know, as an alarm sign. So, um, so that, that took a few months for me to actually realize what's happening. You know, you start building uh, all sorts of tricks uh, when, when you can't hear. So that, that means you, you're starting focusing on body language more than anything else. And then, uh, you know, people's reactions to things. And you, you, started, you start to build that because you have to. I mean, otherwise you're, you're out of the game, so to speak, of, uh, of being in a social environment. So, you know, I was smiling to things that I probably shouldn't smile to. <laughs> I was just, you know, people were talking and I see three people smiling, so it must be funny. So I smile as well. But, um, but yeah, I was, I was asking people to uh, talk to me and face me when they talk so I can lip read. So, uh, so I started lip reading actually uh, without realizing it. It was very frustrating not to be part of the group in a way, you know. Everyone's joking around that you're, you're not. You know, at the same time, it wasn't just losing my hearing. It was also what I know now, it's called tinnitus. At the time, it was a ringing and a buzzing and a crack and something like all, the, all those noises in my, uh, in my uh, ears. And, and I, I think, you know, you, you usually get them after you come out of a club or a very noisy environment. And, uh, well, I had that permanently. So my family, uh, uh, were, they, they were the ones that actually uh, encouraged me. Okay, you just go in, you take a test, and see what it is. I mean, it's obviously something wrong. It takes a bit of courage to actually go that path, uh, especially when you're 25. I mean, in my case, it was a bit strange to put myself in that position. I got my hear hearing tested and uh, I was told, okay, you have a hearing loss and uh, it might be for various reasons. They told me, you're gonna wear hearing aids for the rest of your life. And I was what? No. <laughs> and I just saw myself with, you know, all those things behind the ear and uh, people, you know, pointing fingers and being sad and oh, what happened? What's wrong with you? you know, I didn't want to be in that position. So I went to the States where my family lives and uh, went there. I got the same results. You have tinnitus, it's a symptom, but it was put in a different way, more soft, more, you know, it's fine. You're not going to die, you know, anything. You just need to, like, people wear glasses, you're going to wear hearing aids. And don't worry, there are really small hearing aids that you can use, no one will see them. So that kind of was a bit of a comfort, if you want. And, um, and yeah, and that's where I uh, bought my first pair of hearing aids, if you want, in, in the States. So I was uh, walking on High Street Kensington in London and went into Amplifon. Walked in, said, I want batteries. They had a good offer on batteries, so I just bought batteries. And then at some point, uh, Vincent comes out of his white room back of the clinic. So a very tall guy like me, you know, smiling and young. And Vincent took me from there and he, he showed me all these new hearing aids that came out because I already had the hearing aids for two years. So I needed something new. I needed something, you know, state of the art technology that I just have something really small to put in and, and I can hear the world. But for me personally, the new hearing aids are brilliant. And I use them for seven, eight months now. They definitely improved my life. Better quality than the ones I used to have. The technology is different. But above all that, it's the service. Because Amplifon for me, it's service and, and technology at the same time. So for that reason, Amplifon, uh, is, I think it's a good choice. You know, when you get older, you think, okay, I'm not that young anymore, so I definitely need to go and have a check out my ears, my eyes, whatever. But when you're young and you think, I can't hear anymore. It's devastating. I mean, it kills your mojo and all that. I wish I would have done it sooner because maybe my hearing loss would have been, I don't know, less worse than it is, maybe.